Hey guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my channel. So this is going to be kind of fun, a little different. I am doing my first ever 24 hour readathon. Um, I'm doing it alone, so that's totally okay. Um, I talked about this before in a couple of my videos and blogs, but I was a nanny and I actually just finished up at that job and so I'm currently in limbo about a job situation. I don't have a job at the moment, so I figured it was the perfect time for me to catch up on all my reading. This isn't really like a pleasure readathon. I mean, technically any reading is pleasure. I love being able to read, but it's more of catching up on books that I need to review and catching up on books and things. So I'm going to talk about my TBR and I hope you guys enjoy. Here we go. Um, so yes, let's go ahead and do my TBR. It is a little ambitious, kind of, maybe, I guess we'll see, but I wanted to give myself options since I am a mood reader and we'll see how this goes. I might throw in some books that I don't really have to read, but I want to read, so we'll see. So the first book that I want to read and I'm going to read is The Theory of Happily Ever After by Kristen Billerbeck, and I'm actually already like almost halfway through it. Um, so I'm going to finish this first. This will be my first read. Then next up on the TBR is The Accidental Guardian by Mary Keneally or Connolly. So there's that. And then there is All for Love. It's so it's three historical romance novellas of love and laughter with stories by Mary Keneally, Christian Hunter, and Jen Tarana. And I'm so, so excited about this one. It's really small, so it's probably fast read. And then I have The More and the Maiden by Hannah Joy Wilkinson. Um, I got this for review and really need to read it, so I figured, why not? And then I just got this in the mail the other day and I was like freaking out because I didn't get an email saying that I was going to like get the book for review, so I thought that I wasn't going to. But then I got it in the mail when I got home the other day, and that is The Girl's Guide to Conquering Life. And it is how to ace an interview, change a tire, talk to a guy, and 97 other skills you need to thrive. And I'm so, so excited about this. So I would love to start reading this. And then also, last but not least, is How to Be a Perfect Christian by the Babylon Bee. So that is that. So it's a little ambitious. I think it's what, six books? One, two, three, yes. Six books on a set TBR, books I would love to get to. And then um, I have two other books that I could maybe read. I have Cowboys of Summer, which is a novella collection. You can't even see me, sorry. Um, a novella collection, but it's an ebook, and I don't really want to read an ebook. And then I also have Falling For You by Becky Wade, but I actually technically haven't gotten that one in the mail yet. I have a couple other books that I could totally read, but these are the ones that I really want to get to. And then I went ahead and put um, a list of the books in my To Be Read jar that I got from Target for a dollar like a month and a half ago, maybe even longer. But yeah, so I wrote all the titles in here and I figured... When I'm done with um, The Theory of Happily Ever After, I'll pick a book and read that one. Kind of do it like that. So I thought it would be fun, just some ideas. It is currently 12.01, so that means it's kick up and it is time to start reading The Theory of Happily Ever After. Update time, it is three o'clock and I just finished The Theory of Happy, Happily Ever After by Kristen Bellerbeck, Bellerbeck, Bellerbeck. It's three o'clock in the morning, I can't speak. Um, it was cute, I guess, I don't know. Like, it was, it was cute, I laughed, it got funnier. Um, but I don't know what I wanna read it yet. Um, I have to re write reviews for all of the books that I'm reading. Um, so I think what I'm going to do is just write down my thoughts. I'm going to keep notes on my phone 
and just write down my thoughts or on paper or something and then do it that way tomorrow maybe or Wednesday when I get sleep um, so yeah that is the plan I don't know what I'm gonna read it yet but I finished it it was cute and now we are going to pick a new book. So I've got my handy dandy to be read jar. I'm gonna shake it up. Shake, shake, shake it up. The next book that I'm going to be reading in my 24 hour readathon is Girl's Guide. Okay, so that is The Girl's Guide to Conquering Life. And what I think I'm going to do with this is read, read like a chapter or two and then pick up like a fiction book or something and break it up over a couple hours um, and do it that way because I feel like it's going to be a lot of information since it's nonfiction. Though I have a feeling it's going to be really fun, but I feel like I might get a little bored of it pretty quickly. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start it in a few minutes. Um, I'm going to get a drink and things and then I'll start this, probably read a couple chapters and then update you if I start another book. So one book down, well I guess half a book down since I was already like 48% into the book, but still. Um, yes. One book down. So you learn something new every day. Um, this book is what I'm reading. I'm on chapter two, which is manners and something else. I don't know. But I'm on the section about um, holding doors open for people, which I do anyways. But it tells you like how to identify which way the door opens. So, if the hinges are visible and the handle is on the right, the door opens to the left. And if the hinges are uh, visible and the handle is on the left, then it swings right. And if there aren't any visible hinges, then it's a push to open. Like, I don't ever think about it. I just kind of go for it, which I guess if I actually think about it, that makes sense. But guys, it's 3.45 in the morning. Currently not thinking about which way a door swings open. <laughs> but this is cute so far. It's just really simple, fast read. Um, just a bunch of like six steps to do things. It's fun. It's cute. It's going to be fast, but Man, I'm kind of tired, not gonna lie to you right now. <laughs> I got this like s'more thingy, majigger that my mom gets from work. So I'm gonna eat that. Um, and here's a little tidbit. I do not eat while I read, especially if one, I'm in bed like laying down and eating. I don't really do that. Um, but I don't do it over my paperback books, so. I'm going to pause in my reading and I'm going to probably like watch a video on YouTube or something and then I'll get right back to it. But I'm going to enjoy my sugar at 4 o'clock in the morning. You know, you do what you can to stay alive. You do what you can to stay alive. Real life right now. I'm just ahead. Um, yeah, so it's 4.41. I just, well, I finished my snack a couple minutes ago, but I was watching a video on YouTube, so I finished the video. Now, I'm going to start this. And I'm not going to lie to you right now. I'm exhausted. So I'm going to tell you why. This is going to be the longest video of anybody's life, but that's okay. So... Um, as you know, I'm doing this because I no longer have the nannying job, which was totally messy with my reading, but I worked on Saturday 
and I had the kids at my house on Saturday because my aunt and my cousin were here. So I had two toddlers, my family, my grandma came over, um, and the toddlers left around four, and then my family was here until like nine. I went to bed relatively early, early on Saturday night, but then Sunday, we, I got up super early because we had to pick somebody up for church. So I was up at 6.30, and then we have Sunday morning service. I got home and took a two hour nap from 30 to 4.30, and then was up from 4.30 to now. So I've only had a couple hours of sleep, so I'm kind of running on fumes from all week being working with the kids, and then Sunday, Sunday takes a lot out of me. But I had already planned in my mind to do the readathon on Monday. <laughs> And like I had already put it in my planner and I had already like started my TBR. So I was going to persevere and I was going to keep my word and continue to do it. But it's 4.45 in the morning and I'm tired. And coffee doesn't wake me up. So I can't go and make myself coffee. It's not going to do anything for me. Sugar doesn't do anything for me. So, like, I'm lost. The only thing that really ever keeps me up is reading. So, I think it might be wise for me to read. And I also really want to change positions. I want to go sit on my couch. But it's 4.45 in the morning. My mom has already left for work. She leaves at 3-something. Uh, so, she's already gone. My dad will be up in an hour and a half to go to work. So, I think when my dad gets up, I might go to the couch. I think we're going to move to the couch. <laughs> Alright, everybody, let's go. Alright, I am on my couch. I will be whispering because my parents are with literally right there. And my dad's sleeping. Um, I would also like to point out that there are birds chirping at the moment. And I don't feel like anybody should be awake at this time. No human, feathered, furry, four-legged, two-legged, no-legged thing should be awake. But here I am, and here they are, and yes. I'm on the couch. Hopefully this will help. Okay, guys. It is 6.15. The sun is up. You see the sun, the sun is up. Um, I just finished um, the first story in this novella, which was The Boat and Birthright by Mary Keneally. Um, it's okay. I mean, I'm excited to read the series uh, since it is a prequel novella to a full series she has. So I'm gonna start the next story in the novella which is A Lady of Esteem by Christine Hunter, which I haven't read yet, but I'm very excited to. So, I'm gonna read that now. There's my little update. It's six o'clock in the morning, it's still going strong, but I'm so tired. <laughs> update time, it is, yay. Um, it is seven o'clock in the morning, and I'm seriously like about to call it quit so I can get like an hour nap or something. I am exhausted. I'm on chapter seven. I'm on page 127 of the actual book, but I don't know what page that is for the story. Um, it's really cute. Um, it is the prequel to the Hawthorne House series, which is great. I've talked about before and I love it. So I'm finally, I'm so excited. I'm finally reading Amelia and um, Anthony's story. It's so cute so far. Um, so I'm definitely going to finish this one. But I think I might take a break and take a nap. And then read the rest of the day. Um, because I literally have nothing else to do. But I know that if I don't, I'm going to be 
a crabby, 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 crabby sister. So sleep might have to happen if they want me to be nice. But I know for a fact before I go to sleep, I will be finishing this book so you will get an update again then. But it's seven o'clock and I'm exhausted and slightly delirious. Yay! Okay guys, it is 7.36 roughly. I'm still on chapter seven. I stopped for a moment, updated people on Instagram about the readathon. If you're not following me on Instagram yet, you could totally follow me at For Love Christian Fiction. So I came back on here to say that I have not finished the book yet. But like, I'm not even retaining any information anymore. And this story and this writer is it's just too great to not be able to know what is going on. Because my brain and mouth aren't even working together anymore. Um, so with that, I'm going to take a nap. Probably about, hopefully like an hour, maybe an hour and a half. Um, because I would prefer to give up a couple hours to sleep. I'll be home all day so I can read all day. But I know that I'm going to be a grump if I don't get some kind of rest. I'm going to hop out. I'm going to take a couple hour nap. And I'm going to get back to it. I'm going to finish A Lady of Esteem, and then I'm going to read At Your Request again by Jen Toronto. I've already read this novella, but in e-form, so I'm going to read it in paperback. And then I'll probably maybe finish um, The Girl's Guide to Conquering Life, and then I might take a break and write a couple reviews, since they're all review books. Um, and then I have two other books because I got rid of How to Be a Perfect Christian. I have two other books that I can read. So we'll see how this goes. I believe in myself. I feel like I could finish the two other book books, maybe. I know for a fact that I'll be able to finish this and A Girl's Guide to Conquering Life. I believe in myself. I can do this. But I also know that I can do a nap and I'm going to do a nap. So I will catch you in a couple hours. I'll see you guys later. I'm such an awful readathoner. Welcome back. <laughs> Last you saw me, it was 7.45 and I tapped out of the staying up for 24 hours. It is now currently 10. Um, technically I I slept from 7.45 to 9.45, but I laid on my phone for a little bit. And then I did a couple things around the house. But now I'm going to get me some breakfast. Um, since I haven't eaten since that s'more thing that I ate at, what, 3 o'clock this morning. Um, but yeah, I'm going to get breakfast. And again, I said I do not... Uh, eat and read at the same time so I'm going to eat and then get back into reading full force on the cover mission guys cereal but I kind of want for loops we're going to do for loops okay. alright hair is back up in the messy bun so you know what time that means it's reading time. I ate breakfast. Not gonna lie, I'm still a little drowsy, but that's to be expected. <gasps> I don't have a water. <sighs> well, I have to go get that. So come along with me. Let's get ready to. Ex We're gonna sing a little Einstein song. Come aboard, get ready to explore. There's so much to find. Little Einstein's. Hey. Hey. Alright. I've got the water. It's 1018. Let's go.
So, here's my plan. I'm going to get a little rundown of what's going to happen in the next couple hours. So, I'm going to finish uh, this book, the three novellas that I was reading at 7 o'clock this morning. I'm going to finish uh, the story that I'm currently reading and the next story, be done with this book, and then I'll probably pick up this book. And I don't know if I'll finish it. It's really fast. So I might just push through. So after I finish this and this, I'm going to review the three books that I've already read. Um, and get those scheduled and then sent to my cousin. Because she is actually going to be editing my reviews for a while. And just kind of helping us both. It's a good situation for both of us, so I want to get them to her early so that she can get a head start on them. Reviews won't go live for a while, so it, it'll just be nice to have them ready to go. That is the idea for now. That is the plan for now. So I'm going to start reading. I'm so excited to finish this book. It's going to be so good. Alright guys, it is 1.30. I am still in my pajamas, happily, though I am about to get dressed. Um, I did just finish All for Love, and it was so good. I'm so excited that these books, or these novellas are in print. So excited to read them. It was great. Loved it. Um, but I also got book mail today, and that's just always exciting. So first I got Reclaiming... Shallow Snow by Mary Weber. Then I got The First Gift by Ruth, oh, whacking myself in the face. Ruth Logan Hearn, which I got for a bookstagram tour with uh, Just Reads Tours. Love those girls. And then last today, I got Seven Brides for Seven Mail Order Bachelors. Or mail order husbands, you know, that's the correct terminology. It's one of those collections and I love them. So yeah, book mail, tons of reading, room's a mess, I'm still in my pajamas. It's just been a great day. I'm about to go eat a brownie. Um, yes, I'm going to get dressed for the day. Probably do my hair so I don't look like that big of a hot mess anymore. Um, eat a brownie and then... Read some more of The Girl's Guide to Conquering Life, and then I'm going to write some reviews. Um, maybe start editing this vlog. I just don't know. We'll see. But for now, I'm going to get dressed. So, next time you see me, I will look a little more presentable. It's going to be great. Told you, next time you'd see me, I would be dressed. Ta-da! So, girl's life. Starting it again. I've already read a couple of pages while I was waiting for something. So I think I'm going to try to finish it real fast while my sister is doing school. So, here we go. Alright, a little bit of an update. It is 3... 3.05. And I had a late lunch. I'm currently 165 pages into The Girl's Guide to Conquering Life. It's really cute, it's really fast. Again, um, I'm like 54% done with it. But I'm kinda getting tired again since I really only got two hours of sleep. Um, I shouldn't be getting any sleep because that's like the whole point of this readathon. But I'm kinda breaking the rules because it's my readathon and I can do what I want to. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to stop reading for a little bit. I'm going to just relax on the couch, maybe until my mom gets home. Um, then I might pick up reading again, but I also have to make dinner tonight, so we'll see how it all goes. But I do know that I will be reading late into the night. Like, I'll read until midnight, and I'll stop the readathon then. But I just, I have so much to do. But I've enjoyed what I've read so far, so there's that. And I still think that I could finish this and maybe get, like, halfway into another book. So, we'll see how it goes. Alright, guys, update. I look ridiculous. Um, 
it's 5.30. Last you saw me was about 3.34 or something like that. And I totally fell asleep. Not even gonna lie to you right now. I was exhausted. Um, so I'm still like 50 something percent through with this. I'm gonna finish this soon, maybe after dinner, and then pick something else up. Guys, I don't know how people do 24 hours. I think I just picked a terrible week um, to do it, but I'm proud of the reading I got done today. I could have probably gotten more done if I had not slept all those hours, but I also know that I needed them and that's more important to me than dying. So I'm going to definitely still finish this and then probably read another book. I might wait for my reviews and blog stuff till tomorrow. But you shall see. I just wanted to give you an update that I am in fact still alive and totally bombing this 24 hour thing. Okay guys, update time. It is 9.30 and I just finished The Girl's Guide to Conquering Life. We, um, I think last time I updated you, I was still reading it, it was like five something. And after my second nap of the day, <laughs> I just kind of was like, not really in the mood to read. Plus we were making dinner. So I didn't really pick up the book until after dinner, which was like at mm, maybe nine, eight thirty nine. So, but I finished it. It was really cute. It was a light read. It's really good for like young teenage girls. So it was cool. My review will be up on that shortly. Um, so it's nine thirty. And I can't decide if I want to pick up another book or not. Or if I want to be done for the day. Because I'm proud of what I did. I got books read that I need to get read. The other books I know that I'll get to. Um, like my TBR isn't as intimidating. Um, so I think I might just relax now. Um, but at the same time... I might pick up another book in like an hour or so. Um, I might pick up Mary Keneally's An Accidental Guardian because I'm kind of in the mood for a Western book. So, yeah, I might pick that up. I'm not sure. We'll see. And that's my update so far. We'll see what I do. But I will keep you updated with my actual updates about what I will do in a couple hours. All right, guys. It is... 10 o'clock and I am going to be calling it quits for my readathon. Um, I'm just so tired. That being said, I know I kind of like was all over the place. It wasn't really 24 hours. I fell asleep for four hours on it, but I was, I'm very proud of what I got accomplished today. So I read three out of the six books that were on my TBR for this readathon. Um, technically five since I took How to Be a Perfect Christian off pretty early and did this thing. Um, so I read three out of the five. That was my takeaway. I didn't really want to put a ton of pressure on myself. That's why I'm okay with ending it. That's why I was okay with sleeping. Like, can you see the bags under my eyes? I'm exhausted. Um, but yes, I'm very proud of myself for what I did get accomplished. So that's it from Midnight. May 20th to, well, I guess midnight, May 20, May 21st to 10 o'clock p.m. May 21st. I read all day and it was a, it was an experience, that's for sure. In total, I read 728 pages. Uh, the, Con the Girl's Guide to Conquering Life was 290 six pages then all for love was 273 pages and then the theory of happily ever after was also 273 pages but i started on page 114 so in 
total, I read 728 pages today from midnight uh, Monday morning to about 9.30ish on Monday evening and took a four hour break. And even more than that really. So yes, I'm very proud of myself. Only Monday and I've already read three books. So I'm gonna see if I can keep up a good reading, good reading momentum now that I'm home. And yes, so I'm very, very excited. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this readathon. Again, it was a little different, a little crazy. A very relaxed version of myself uh, <laughs> which I mean technically you guys see in all my other videos but uh, you guys got to see kind of a close-up with me and no I'm not amazing at vlogging I hope you guys enjoyed this type of video if so maybe I'll do something kind of similar to it throughout the weeks I don't know we'll see um yeah let me know if you enjoyed it uh, you can follow my blog for the love of Christian fiction .com, where I post every Friday and you'll see a few of these books on review, my full reviews coming up soon. You'll also see them in my, what is this, May? Yes, May wrap up in a couple weeks. Um, and you can also follow my Instagram for the love of Christian fiction, which I've talked about before. And I post there all the time. All my other links are in the description box below. And I think possibly <laughs> that's it i'll see you guys next week bye